Alt 92.3. Do I have this right? You were 16 years old when you joined the band Radiohead? We were, so it was 1985. So I was, uh, yeah, I was 16. So I mean, like, I mean, if I'm thinking of myself at 16, I don't know who the hell I am when I'm 16 years old. And you joined this band. Yeah. How interwoven is that band to your personal identity? Because as you're getting to know yourself, yeah. you know, the band's getting to know themselves and it seems it would be <laughs> intrinsic. So... I'm exactly the same as you, age 16. I didn't know who the hell I was. The moment we started rehearsing, boom. It's like, this is the most important thing in my life. Bang. Like, you know, and, and you know, we, were, we, we weren't good. We were shit, you know. We, but, but there was this thing and there was, it was suddenly everything went into focus. Everything was out of focus. You know, it's like 16 yeah, years old, yeah, right? Yeah. And then, bang. And again, it was like, it became, the, it, 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 and then it becomes a huge part of your character because, you know, at that age, inevitably, you, you know, you, you have a few challenging moments or a, a girl dumps you or whatever, all the, all those kind of, all those massive things. Cause you, you're, you're living life at a, as a teenager, it's all new. You're stepping into the adult world. It's quite raw. You have highs, but you also have real lows. But what was great about the band was like, didn't matter how low those lows were, they weren't low because I had my brothers and I had this music and this band I was in. And I think for all of us, it gave us huge strength. We were like this little, this little club, this right. little, you know, unlikely club, because we're all very different people, but it gave us such strength and such purpose at an age where you don't have a lot of purpose. So is it scary to you to think, even at this point in your life, if that goes away entirely one day? No. So then how do you, I'm so fascinated by this, how do you, it's beautiful the camaraderie you had yeah. and, and the community you had growing yeah. up at such a young age and then throughout your life, but how do you develop a sense of self amongst that? Because, well, you have to, and it's a good question, and, and what happens is you have families, you know, you have kids, and, you know, your kids don't give a shit about you being in Radiohead. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they, they, what was, that doesn't, that's normal to them. No, you don't define yourself, and that, that's a process, and that's a really, what you're talking about is a very, very interesting process and it's something that you have to go through because, you know, the, 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 the band is by definition a club. It's like a gang. And you can't stay in the gang forever. You know, you can't. You can't mm. do that. You can't emotionally stay in that. You can be a band, but a, a gang changes. And also gang hands out, hangs out less with one another when you have families. Your family become your gang. Mm. And in order to be a good father... You have to, you have to, you have to stand upon your own two feet. So my my viewing on it, on the whole thing is is like, I'm not defined by Radiohead. Radiohead's a massive blessing in my life, and it's it's an amazing part. But you know, if it were to not be there tomorrow, sure I'd be you know sad, but it wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go to pieces. It'd be like, well, you know, I don't think you can be scared of these things. It's almost like you can't be scared of families splitting up if they do split up it's right. it happens stuff happens and you just you know you do your best 